Hi, I'm Terrence Curran, and I'm here as a veteran of the film and television industry to reveal a hidden area of our craft that I personally am very excited about, color correction. Now, if you have a well-lit room and a properly balanced camera as we do here, you may not need color correction. But unfortunately, that's not how things always work out. For example, you may not be able to see me really well right now. And I can fix this in post-production with color correction. I would adjust the gain to bring up my face and then bring down the high end so that the highlights aren't blown out so much. And then I would bring down the dark areas in the picture to increase the contrast of the overall image. Adding a little color into my face and then adjusting the hue of that color so that it matches my normal skin tone bring a final image that's much more pleasing. Just to show you what we've done, here's a split wipe of before and after. Big difference, isn't it? So that's an example of some of the things that we can do to fix problems in post-production with color correction. Now I'd like to show you a few more examples. So here's another example of a problem with production. You have a window that's blown out, drawing your attention away from the talent. This is one of the things that we can fix in post. What we would do is draw an actual shape around the window like this, and then we'll bring the level down in that window, and voila, now you have a more balanced picture. And two camera shoots also present a problem because it's difficult to get two cameras to match perfectly. And we can fix that in post. What are the differences between these two cameras? In this case, we have two different models of cameras that were set up two different ways, and we can see the differences in the tones we need to adjust my skin tone to match in both cameras. There you go, that's much better, isn't it? Now that we've adjusted these two cameras to match, we can easily cut back and forth between the two of them and it won't be jarring. So let's take a look at some other ways that color correction can help fix problems in post. The color balance of indoor lighting is not the same as the color balance of sunlight. And that can create a real problem when you have a single shot that goes from inside to outside. You're probably noticing right now that I've turned very blue, and that's an example of this problem. But we can solve this problem in post-production with color correction. We would just adjust the hue until the skin tones look proper. So now you've seen several examples of how we can repair production-created problems in post-production with color correction.